Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to draw on the foundation, pad foundation for a building and convert it into a feature line and then create a new surface to incorporate a flat pad. As you can see at the moment, I've got a survey surface in my drawing. Uh, if I click on this and go into my object viewer, uh, you can see that the surface has quite a large hill uh, in the top of it. So there's a mound on this site here and we're going to put in a flat slab and uh, ultimately get some volumes for cut and fill from it. So the first thing we need to do is to draw on the outline of the building and we're going to do this. There's a couple of different ways of doing it but I'm going to show you how to do it uh, by starting off with just a polyline for the outline of the building. So it's the usual polyline command, P line to start and uh, it doesn't really matter where I started. I'm going to put it in somewhere about here. I'm using my orthographic mode and I'm just uh, sketching in what the building would look like. Now you may have coordinates for a building already, uh, in which case you would use those coordinates. Uh, bear in mind what I'm doing here essentially is just sketching a uh, building on just to have a look and see what it looks like. And uh, I can close that polyline back now. So that's the outline of my building. Um, it will have taken, because I've drawn it on the surface, it will have taken the level of that point on the surface as the level for my entire pad. So I don't know what that's going to be at the moment, somewhere between 75.5 and 79. So um, we can check that later, make some changes to it if we have to. So we need to create a feature line from that in order to be able to do some manipulation with it. So come up to this part of the uh, ribbon, the design center of the ribbon, click on feature line, and we're going to create feature lines from objects. So the object we're going to use is the rectangular shape we've just drawn. So when you click on that, the command line is asking you to select the polylines to convert to feature lines. So we'll do that simply by clicking on it and then pressing enter. Here it's asking us to uh, name the feature lines, so I'm just going to call it Site 1, that's fine. And uh, with the name, I'm going to change Feature to Building. The style we're going to use is Basic, and it's asking me do I want to um, use different layers, and a couple of options down here are going to be important as well. Do we want to er erase existing entities? We do, and we also want to assign an elevation. So we click on that. Now, the elevation that I want to use for this building, we'll say is 75.5, uh, which will mean that in this corner here we've got a little bit of cut, and by the time we come over to this corner here, it'll be quite a good bit of cut. So we're going to take our elevation and we're going to override that to 75.5. Currently the option is that the slab here is taking its level from the surface. Um, so that polyline that we drew a few minutes ago had a level of about 76 or something like that uh, when it was taken from the surface, the existing ground level. We want to override that and give it an actual design level of 75.5. So click OK to that. And you can see our rectangle has gone green now which means it's converted into a feature line. Now the next step is to show the grading around this building. Um, currently this slab has a level of 75.5 but it's not incorporated into the existing ground level surface in any way. So what we need to do is to set the grading settings so that we can actually show the cut and fill embankments. So to do that we come over to our prospector tab and we expand sites. We expand site 1 and we come down to grading groups. So we need to select that and then do a right click and go new. Now grading group essentially is what the uh, grading is going to be called and uh, we'll override this, we'll call it uh, building and we can call it building 1 and automatic surface creation, we'll turn that on um, that means that if we make any changes to this building for example if we raise or lower the elevation of the, of the floor slab uh, the surface will update itself without us having to redraw it so automatic surface creation is fine group name is fine so that means our surface is going to be called building one in this case and uh, volume based surface can leave that blank but we'll, no, we'll, tick, we'll tick this because we're going to be doing some volumes from it later on so click OK to that now Okay, so this is the um, option to create the surface. So you can see here it's called building 1-1 one one, and uh, that should be okay. So we'll click on okay for that. 
and next thing now is to have a look at the grading options itself the creation of the grading so we need to come up to the create the design center of the uh, ribbon and click on grading drop down menu and we go to grading creation tools and in this uh, really what we're doing is gonna, I'm going to work across the top here and tell you the important bits you need to know for the moment um, and you get some information coming in here as well so I'll just make that a little bit bigger okay so the first button here is the grading group okay and that's fine we're calling it building one so that's already selected the next option here is to uh, set the style for the surface and uh, that's okay we'll just use the same one as we're using for existing ground level that's fine you'll find a lot of these things are going to be uh, the default settings um, this option here allows you to make some new criteria but to be honest the drop down menu here usually will have the ones that you'll want you'd only use that button if there was a, a special type of um, criteria that you wanted to use so normally we will use a uh, grade to surface and essentially what's going to happen now is we're going to take our floor slab and grade from the level of it which is 75.5 uh, up to or down to the existing ground level so grade to surface is the option we want in here we can set the slopes gradients of the default is two is to one which uh, which is fine we'll use that one for the moment uh, no big problem with that one and now we go to create grading so uh, I, I accidentally come out of it there uh, come back into grading creation and uh, we've all the settings here from before so go to create grading and you will see down on your command line it says select the feature so we need to click on the outline of the building and it's saying select the grading side so do you want, want to grade on the inside or the outside well we want to grade on the outside so click anywhere around there apply to the entire length yes the cut format do we want to use a slope or a grade well we we'll use a slope and it's uh, two is to one so we can press enter to accept that for the fill again we we'll select slope and press enter to accept two is to one and you'll see here now I'll just close this down out of the way you'll see now that the uh, surface has been uh, created in here to show the areas of cut and uh, maybe a possibly a small area of fill no it's not it's it's entirely in cut actually this section here so that shows the building pad with the uh, surface uh, the shape of the surface around to the existing ground now there's one or two more things that we need to do with this for example we need to put an infill in here to simulate where the building is going to go and then what we need to do is to uh, incorporate this into the existing ground at the moment what I mean by that at the moment you can see this gray contour coming down through here which is the surface that was surveyed and you've also got these contours here the red and green which are the contours of the cut so we need to update our existing ground surface to a finished surface and I'm going to cover that and volumetrics in the next video